guys good to see y'all again welcome back um, I'm kind of excited today I really need to start saying stop saying um I don't know why I do that it drives me nuts because <laughs> I know it has to drive y'all nuts so let me preface this video by saying I have a very specific combination on my lip and no matter what I do this lip gloss jumps right off my onto my teeth so if you see it I'm really sorry I'm trying to keep an eye out for it I'm having a hard time all right so we're gonna talk about reds today red is one of my very 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 favorite colors I love it I can pull off just about any undertone of red that there is so if I see a gorgeous one I'm gonna collect it but there's a couple two reds in particular that are my favorite diehards will always love it so let's roll into that and we're going to start off with the different undertones. So you've got a blue, you've got a brown, you've got an orange, and you've got a pink undertone. Your blue undertones are going to be more closer to the berry color. Um, we have, I am a hot mess. I need a legit vanity. This dog bed's not cutting it. I don't have enough flat surface to work with. Like, like a color like this is a blue red. This berry color, that is a blue undertone red. I think if you get lighter into that, this one is a blue undertone red. I, this one they don't make anymore and I absolutely loved it. And it was paired with a more of an orangey, reddish, burnt color. I loved it. I'm so disappointed that that didn't stay. It was a, it was originally a limited and it's going to be so to and by the way I also pulled out glosses and lipsticks so we're gonna I'm gonna show you this is another well this is actually more of a right here this is the NARS lip pencil this is called Cruella this is a blue red <sighs> this is so beautiful like even the deeper skin tone you have this is the prettier this color gets I love it it's, and don't use it because I don't want to run out of it <sighs> even though they have that so let's move on I think that's enough blue I think I'll get the gist this one was a blue but it's a gloss but it's got glitter in it and I love this one it was the same thing I didn't want to use it because <laughs> I didn't want it to go away because it was limited so I use I use limited products very sparingly especially if they're fantastic so we can actually move on to more pink reds pink undertone and this one is one of my top 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 lipsticks it's a little mini I got it is called Jennifer's getting old no relentlessly red so it's got a pink undertone to it this has been oh my god i love 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 this one i am surprised because the next one i have i don't know what sorcery is in this this is a sephora lip stain the lip cream lip stain and it is called always red they've had it for years i believe they still do have it but I don't know what kind of sorcery magic this is in here. It is like hands down the perfect shade of red for everyone. It's got a little pink, a little blue, <laughs> like, I don't know. And when you put it on, it does not dry out the lips and it will not move for you all day. And it's not terribly hard to get off. Like, just take your makeup remover and it just comes off. Like. What did you put in here Sephora it's like amazing it's like it should be like their number one product oh my god I love it so those are my two um, I, I really put that with that one because I don't really know exactly what the undertone is now here's a this is a gloss that's like a pink undertone red but where it's where you can kind of see like the pink come through this is another one this is another gloss I have I mentioned it in my other video I have 218 lipsticks I really don't need to be buying anymore but I just can't help 
And if you see a gorgeous color and you can't remember what you have, go ahead and buy it. Now this next one is from NARS. It's called Mexican Rose. You put a light one, you put a light coat and it's very sheer, but it is that pinky red. I think you can, I don't want my hair. Anyway, it's a pinky red. So if you do one light coat, it's kind of sheer, but if you go on, it does get deeper. But let me tell you, it will stain your lips. But I don't mind that because I'm not a reapplier. If it's gone, it's gone. It's just gone. <laughs> so I don't reapply. This is another one of, this is number three for me. Let's see what else I got. And then you got this one. This is more of a, I don't know if it's pinky red, but it's got a gold or brown undertone to it. This is called New York Apple. This is a gloss. This is from MAC. I love that one. This looks great on every skin tone as well. Um, I don't know why I have this in here, but this is a berry color. This is a blue. This is a berry color. This is my sugar fresh, uh, my fresh sugar lip treatment. Yeah, I love those. Those are so amazing and so expensive. This is a rust colored red, to, or I feel to me it's a rust colored red. That looks good on everyone as well. I think the only ones that kind of have difficult really are the orangey undertones. This is from Bare Minerals. I used it once. It ran all over my face. I never wore it again. But this is a true, true, true red, blue red undertone. I wish, it's a beautiful red. I just wish it didn't do that. And we've got now, this is like a sheer lip gloss. This is a pinky red pink undertone. The more you look at things, the more you start to see their true undertones. This one is from Lancome and it's a gold, goldish red, metallic. I love this one. They didn't carry it anymore, so I use that very sparingly. But it is a beautiful red. That one would also look good on everyone. I don't know. I don't I just don't feel like everybody looks terrible in red. I don't really feel that way. I feel like you just need to find the right undertone. So this is another one from MAC. This is called Chili. This is a brown undertone. You can kind of see it's more, you, you can see if you look, it's got more brown in it. See, they're, MAC, MAC has the best lipsticks. The best lipsticks. All right, and for the combination, oh, we're gonna talk about the orangey reds. This right here, it looks orange, but it's really kind of a red. It's an orangey red, you can kind of see it in there. I thought I had more pulled out. This is from Bite Beauty, this is really nice. It's soft, it doesn't stain the lips. Um, it's got about an average wear time, but Bite Beauty is supposed to be so healthy for you, you can eat it. Uh, I know they carry out, they put a lot of resveratrol in their products, so Bite Beauty in general has great lip everything. I've heard they come out, they've come out with foundations now. I really want to try that. I want to see how that works. So we're going to move on. This is a goldish red. This is from Milani. I don't believe they make it anymore. This is Amore Matte. And it's a rust colored metallic red and I bought it a few years ago and it doesn't dry out the lips but it gets crunchy so I just kind of didn't wear it anymore but it's a beautiful shade it's what I have on on my lips and this is more of an orange red I'll show you I and it's metallic I love hourglass God I love them this is the most beautiful shade of red. This is a lip gloss, and this is what I'd put on top of it. It is so pretty, but I cannot keep it from jumping off my lips. And I think that, I believe that is why I quit wearing it. But it's like, I don't throw it away because I just like looking at it. And this is called Siren. I believe they still have that. Uh, the last time I looked, I thought I saw it. This is, again, this is more of a orangey, this is more of 
of an orangey red, more of a rust colored. I put it in here anyway because you could kind of, it has kind of a, a reddish payoff. More of a, I don't know, more of a pink. And this one is definitely a brown. This is from Buxom uh, Big and Healthy Lips. It is Tokyo. And here you have it. That is definitely a brownie undertone to it so really the more you start looking at lips the more you can really start seeing what it is the blues look a certain way the pinks look a certain way oranges look a certain way browns look a certain way um, and the same thing with foundations I think God love the lady that <laughs> when I first started at Mac I didn't know squat about foundations or undertones nothing and I was like I don't know and I you don't want to say you don't know <laughs> so then I had this lady come in one day and she was African-American and she needed help with a foundation and I kind of told her that I was the only one working there that night and I kind of told her I didn't know a whole lot I was like oh that's not right and so we kept going and that God love her <laughs> God give her extra blessings she sat there with me the entire time and let me work it out so after that night I knew exactly what I was looking at I knew what I was looking for so now but once you see it you'll always see it and everything like I have I do have flushing but I'm a neutral so I have some pinks and I have some yellows I'm golden down here but then I'll get really pink right up in here um, I think a lot of people are that way, but once you see golden skin, golden that, you'll, when you open up um, powders or liquid foundations, you'll be able to see the undertones in that, yellows or goldens and warm pinks. People call them different things, so I just call them by the color that it is. So, yeah, that's how, if anybody has any questions on like foundation undertones, please feel free to message me. I, I'm here to help. That is my job. That is what I'm spending all this time doing and trying to get better at it because I'm just really here to help. Really, that's it. I, I get more pleasure out of helping than anything else. So, and that is it for my red video. Guys, go try on some reds. I will tell you that if you try on, I would not try on more than three lipsticks at a time because each time you wipe it off, you change the color of your lip because it just gets, you know, you're moving it. So the next color you try on, it might not have the correct uh, color payoff for you. So if you have any questions on reds or you know just want to learn how to put it on again because I think I did a video a while back I did do a video a while back about the perfect red lip there is a way you can construct that lip and have it look perfect um, if you have any questions on that just let me know if you learned anything from this video or have any questions about the product let me know give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed and you're considering it please do I would love to have you uh, I really am looking for more interaction from my viewers so I really 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 want that because I'm here to connect with people uh, and I think that's it make sure you set you make sure you click the bell for your notifications and you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in my next video